I'm scared. Okay, calm down. Tell me, what's scaring you? When my mom's at work, I'm afraid of him. He comes in my room, and I have to let him in. I know it must be hard for you, but you're doing the right thing calling the hotline. Are you safe now? Mm-hmm. What happens when your mom is at work? He's so mad at me. He yells at me all the time and other stuff. Hello, Child Help Crisis Counselor. How may I help you? It's not just a hotline, you know. It's a lifeline. And we do crises intervention, and we literally save thousands of children's lives. Sarah O'Meara and Yvonne Federson have a long history of child advocacy. As USO entertainers during the 1950s, these young actresses began working with orphans, first in Japan and later in Vietnam. But establishing orphanages and schools for thousands of abandoned mixed-race children was just the beginning. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan asked Sarah and Yvonne to turn their attention to America's best-kept secret, child abuse. With great zeal, the two founded Child Help, an organization devoted to treating and preventing child abuse. Over the years, Child Help created many programs to address the needs of children. Chief among them is the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline. What kind of other stuff? It's okay. We can talk about it. He calls me bad names. When I cried, he hit me. Sometimes he kicks me hard. He says they don't want me around. We get calls from children on a daily basis. And not just children. We receive calls from uh, law enforcement, teachers, medical professionals, neighbors and we're able to give them a resource and be a warm voice for them to share their story, which makes our hotline extraordinary. The Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week with a qualified, certified counseling staff, which is unique amongst hotlines to have counselors man the phones. We take over 200,000 calls annually from individuals who are looking for information and resources. They might be experiencing abuse or they might know of abuse. They usually call in crisis and they want some answers and some help. And the counselors are there to help them identify what the issues are, help them design a plan of action of the next steps that they're going to take and give them uh, referrals right. to their local area for resources that they can access. If we can just intervene in one, one instance of abuse in a household, we've helped countless others in future generations. We do this all without any government funding, all with private funds. As a result of generous corporate and individual support, the hotline has been able to serve between 200,000 and 300,000 people annually from across the U.S., its territories, and Canada. Have you talked to your mom about this? Some days it is a tough job, but I always try and remember it's tough for the people who call in. Have you changed in class lately? Many times they will call three, four, five times before they find that courage to tell us their story. I can see that that would be very upsetting to you. You oftentimes can hear the anguish in their voice and the fear when they're telling you their most painful secrets. But it's a rewarding job when I know that I've helped even just one person. I didn't tell my mom because he said if I did, I'd be in big trouble. You haven't done anything wrong. In fact, you were very brave to call the hotline. And I know you're brave enough to talk to your mom about what's been happening. Now, do you remember what you're going to do after we hang up? Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to my mom today and I'll ask her to get on the phone with me. Since 1982, the hotline has provided an indispensable service to children and families across our nation. Without selfless people like you, this critical work could not continue. Please, give generously to keep this lifeline open. <laughs>